Andrea here. I have had my own mobile dental hygiene practice since 2018, and I've definitely come a long way from when I first started to being since 2018. It's now 2022. So I'm going to give you guys five tips, things that I really suggest doing to make your mobile dental hygiene practice easier, both more efficient, making more money, and saving you time, because all of those things equals to a happier mobile dental hygienist, doesn't it? So number one is actually getting some type of recording device. I use my Apple Watch. This will really help you. I use that for every single appointment. When I'm updating the odontogram, doing perio charting, even if I'm just simply talking to the patient, I will let them know. I will say, I'm just about to call out some tooth numbers. You are due to have me review your odontogram. Speaking of which, my Apple Watch alarm just went off. I had to turn that off for a second. Um, but I let the patient know first. I say, just so you know, I'm going to turn on my recorder that's on my watch. I'm going to update your tooth numbers, your um, dental charting. I'm going to make no sense for probably about a minute talking in my dental language, but I promise to explain everything afterwards. So I have an app on my Apple Watch. What is it called? It's called Recorder Pro. It is free. I did not pay for it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. But I just simply click that and then it starts recording. So I'm doing my thing, talking out loud, and I can hear it perfectly when I come home. You don't have to be talking like this. You can be doing this, doing your thing on your patient, and then you can do it all when you come home. And that brings me to tip number two, take all of your notes, write everything down when you come home. Do not do it at the patient's house because that's going to take you extra time and your patient doesn't need to see there, see you, watch you, see you there, just simply taking notes. So I suggest doing all of that when you go home and that's where your recording device comes in. You don't have to get an Apple Watch. You can simply record on your cell phone. You can record, you can download another app on your cell phone. It's totally up to you, but I found my watch was the easiest because I wear it all the time anyway. Sometimes my cell phone's hidden away somewhere. I can't find it. But if you do that, when you come home, I just simply listen to my recording. I just have to click and then it gives me the different dates. I click again and then I can listen to the whole thing. That's when I do everything. So I will go through the patient's chart, odontogram, anything that I recorded, I now put it in the chart at home so I don't have to do it at the patient's house. The third tip is I don't even suggest having the patient go through things sign anything at their home. I do everything electronically. This is so much easier. This is also easier. So let's say a claim form gets lost in the mail. A dental claim form doesn't send electronically for some reason. If you had them sign on paper, maybe you lost the paper, something happened, and you have to have them sign again, send off something again, it's so much easier when you have it all electronically. Because if it's electronically, you just have to pull up the file and then send it all again. Very, very easy. This is the best thing ever. I can leave a link for you guys down below for a discount code. I use the company Sign Request, where I just upload my um, claim forms. I fill everything in that way. I send it off to the client to sign, done and done. It is so easy. Number four is following up. So one way to make your mobile dental hygiene visits easier is I suggest confirming their appointment a week before and then confirming their appointment the evening of. As a mobile dental hygienist, it's very important to have the patient confirm. There's no such things as no shows because you're going to the client's house, but you don't wanna to have to worry about that. You don't wanna to have to think, I spoke to the patient two weeks ago, I'm showing up at their house, I hope it's the right address, I hope they remembered the day, I hope they put it down in their calendar and I don't just show up and nobody's there. If you're not following up, if you're not confirming, that could happen, right? But also it kind of saves you time too. If you're confirming a week before, the client might say, oh my gosh, I completely forgot. 
summer camp is happening or the kids have soccer or, oh my goodness, I have to work that day, who knows? But then this way you can reschedule. Whereas if you didn't follow up, didn't confirm, you show up at the patient's house and nobody's there or, oh, we can't have our mobile appointment today. The kids have soccer. You never know. So just, just follow up. That will make your life so much easier. And last tip, number five, is book appointments before you leave the home. That will just save you time later on. After I see, let's say, a family for their, their teeth cleaning, I'm going to let them know. I'm going to say to them, you are all due in six months time. Is it okay if, if we hold a time for you guys in my schedule? We don't have to keep that time because I totally understand in six months, anything can happen. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm gonna be doing in six months. So I might have to reschedule it too. But this way, at least you guys have it in the schedule for the date and time that you want. I have a lot of people who can only do Saturdays. Well, Saturdays fill up very fast. I tell them to book in advance or by the time I go through my, my lists, phone calls, messages of when you're due, you might be due in a month, but you might have to wait three months to get it. So book that appointment at the patient's house. That way you don't have to worry about it any other time. So I hope this helps you guys. Let me know if any questions, feel free to comment below. Click like to this video because that does help me and my channel. And don't forget to click subscribe because that also helps. I do upload videos at least once a week, but it's usually more. Thank you guys again and have a great evening.